Hello, my name is Floyd Maxwell, JustThinkIt.com. This video is called Consequences of a Spring and Loop Theory. E equals mc squared, or Einstein's equation. It's the equation that launched a thousand books. It's a bit like the Titanic. No matter how hard you try, it is difficult to exaggerate the size, the majesty, and the impact this remarkably compact equality has had on physics. What does spring and loop theory have to say in the presence of such greatness? Firstly, others came up with this relation before Einstein. In his book, Physics of the Ether, published in 1875, Samuel Tolver Preston claimed that if matter is subdivided into ether particles, they would travel at the speed of light and represent an enormous amount of energy. This is on Preston's Wikipedia page. So that was 30 years before Einstein published Special Relativity. In 1900, Henri Poincaré published a paper in which he said that radiation could be considered as a fictitious fluid with an equivalent mass, relative, equal to energy divided by the speed of light squared. He derived this interpretation from Lorentz's theory of electrons, which incorporated Maxwell's radiation pressure. That's from Poincaré's Wikipedia page. And even Olinto di Preto, an Italian, from his Wikipedia page, in 1903, he came up with a theory that was similar to Preston's, and the hypothesis was that matter and energy might be interchangeable. De Preto's theory was based on his hypothesis that a mass traveling at velocity v has the potential energy proportional to mv squared. I think he added a half mv squared. So secondly, Einstein is infamous for at least one thing, credit, or lack thereof. For reasons unknown, Einstein did not credit other scientists in his own papers. A substantial Wikipedia page called Relativity Priority Dispute exists just to discuss this. It's a worthwhile read with sentences like, in his History of the Theories of Ether and Electricity from 1953, E.T. Whitaker claimed that relativity is the creation of Lorenz and Poincaré and attributed to Einstein's papers only little importance. And you have sentences like that scattered throughout 12,000 plus words on that Wikipedia page sort of debating the whole issue of credit and who came out with it first. Thirdly, for better and for worse, Einstein's equation is the standard today. If spring and loop theory is to convince anyone of anything, it needs to at least harmonize with the most popular of physics tattoos. Let's give it a go, shall we? Equation free zone. Spring and loop theory has no equations. For quite a while it appeared this would ultimately limit the model's utility. Time has proven otherwise simple ingredients. Spring and loop theory says everything is composed of just two things, springs and loops. The springs are the energy component, the loops are the mass component. But there has been a third component all along, the speed of light. Spring and loop theory says that springs bounce against springs with the net effect that spring to spring transmission happens at the speed of light. Ingredients alone do not a cake make. With just three components, it appears that once again spring and loop theory is almost too simple for its own good. Other than pizza dough, what can you make in a three-ingredient kitchen? Let's dice up a bit of history before we turn on our oven. Of atoms and rabbit holes. 2,500 years ago, Democritus conceived of atoms. For the next 2,400 years, including 350 of chemistry's 450-year history, atoms were about it. The Einstein equation had only this for a background. Rutherford's protons and neutrons were found in the 1920s, less than 100 years ago. Quarks, the next level down, just celebrated their 50th. So it is today. Protons and neutrons are made up of two types of quarks, plus energy. In fact, 95% of the weight of an atom comes from this energy of motion. Spring and loop theory in a chef's hat. When mass becomes energy, it becomes a great deal of energy. The Einstein equation, put into simple words, would be something like a chunk of something times a very large number, squared, gives you how much energy was in that stuff. Spring and loop theory, in words, would say an energy loop, when opened or unrolled, liberates the springs that were bound to it, with these springs once again able to move at the speed of light in at least two directions. Okay, there was one in the oven. Cooking shows are always a bit of a cheat. Even I could pull off a souffle if I was handed every ingredient and each was already measured, diced, and prepped. Besides, to save time, they always have the finished product ready to be pulled out of the oven. But in the end, the whole process works and works well. The map is not the territory. Spring and loop theory is not an equation. It is a framework, a way to look at the universe. Perhaps the most important quality of spring and loop theory is that it has yet to go down for the count. Even if it leaves us wanting more, at least the part we ate has not given us indigestion.
In other words, string and loop theory today does not directly derive the Einstein equation. A disappointing result, perhaps, but spring and loop theory thinks it can still make out the shoreline despite the fog. Returning to our basic premises, there are springs of energy, there are matter loops that are energy stabilized, and loops tie up springs of energy. Running the movie in reverse, we get loop disappearance means that previously calmed springs are free to spring once again, and they will do so in proportion to the speed of light. The best we can do. Spring and loop theory has pulled a pre-Bobby Fisher, settle for a draw rather than an outright win, hinted at an equation it does not yet clearly derive. Look on the bright side. The next time you look at your life and think, why me? Remember this, if it was easy, you wouldn't enjoy it. Thank goodness spring and loop theory does not spell it all out. Answers lead to questions. Spring and loop theory portion control leaves plenty of food for others to consume, digest, and utilize. The Einstein equation was the car, the assembly line, and or the first plane. But today, physics, like NASA, remains mostly on the ground, reduced to fantasizing about almost everything. Spring and loop theory, stocked with 21st century wheels, frames, and gears, is ready to capitalize on a new craze. Apply within. String theorists who find their faith wavering more than a little might want to consider a change of venue. Buggy whips gave way to horseless carriages. Prospectors weren't the only ones who made money in a boom economy. For now, spring and loop theory continues to ponder why energy equals mass times the speed of light squared, but does find area rather than volume examples in nature. With the exception of carbon, all chemical elements bond in two dimensions. Planets and galaxies primarily occupy a two-dimensional space, and gravity, gravity varies as the square of the distance. Cosalt rolls on. Consequences of a spring and loop theory is already anticipating a visit from the ether bunny. Yummy. Thanks for listening. That gravity sing-song reference was Peter O'Toole in Goodbye Mr. Chips, a wonderful movie.